Welcome to Classic Sailor, and we're on a yard visit with David Foster of Classic Sail, a charter outfit based in Chichester, where we're in the local boat builder Tim Gilmore's shed. And we're looking at uh, two of David's fleet of four Morgan Giles 43s, which were built for the Navy's officer cadet training program at Britannia Royal Naval College based in Dartmouth. These are absolutely beautiful offshore wooden boats, and it's quite something to see four of them together. David's been gathering them over the past few years to be able to offer a fantastic sailing experience for larger groups to enjoy going out racing these yachts. The Royal Navy built seven of these in all. There were five for Dartmouth and two for the engineers at Manadon in Plymouth, and I think David wants to get them all back together. They were built in 1959 to replace the aging windfall yachts that were taken from Germany in 1945 and 46 as uh, spoils of war, but they are better designed than the German Baltic yachts and they're more suited to the Western approaches and blue water sailing. So th these boats were built for the Royal Navy in 1959. Um, there were five built for the Dartmouth um, training cadets and probably every single naval officer Sea Lord, Admiral, has learned to sail in these boats, including Prince Charles, Prince Edward. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh has certainly been on these boats a number of times. Uh, they are a piece of our maritime history. They're not just classic yachts, they are a piece of our maritime history. And uh, nobody would ever have thought to see these boats sailing together again. Sold out of the Navy in the 1980s and um, we've brought them back together. So they all went into private ownership? They all went into private ownership. Uh, the, day, the, the, the day after they sold them, they, had, they would deliver the new fleet of uh, fiberglass boats, which everybody just originally said, oh my God, what have we got these for? And they realized they'd made a mistake. Because I mean, these were just, that they've got full size Admiralty charts tables on them. And you can stand up and do your navigation on board. So, you know, this, this was perfect training to become a navigator or, uh, you know, an officer on a naval ship. And at the same time, you were doing what all people in the Navy need to do, which is learn to sail. Because you can't be on a warship without knowing about the sea and how it moves. And there's no better boat to be on than a wooden boat like this to learn how to sail. You know, they, they give with the sea, they move with the sea, they are the sea. It's not like a five and a half boat. This isn't, a, but you know, this is a different thing. Do they, um, do they know they're all back together with you? They do, they? do and uh, we're, it's the, we're going down to Jane Shadow, I think it is. Um, she is the granddaughter of Morgan Giles, hmm. and she's now the custodian and historian for the Tenmouth Museum, and she holds all the archives for the Morgan Giles uh, Museum, and next year is the uh, they've got a big event, it's, it's, it's 100 years or something of the yard or something like that. At Tenmouth. At Tenmouth. So we're sailing down with these yachts uh, into Tenmouth. So, so they've already been back to Tenmouth since they were launched in 1959. We're sailing them all back. And then we're going round to Dartmouth and Naval College for a reunion of old sailors that have sailed these boats at the uh, Dartmouth, Dartmouth College and taken them out for a sail around the, around the harbour. We get emails every week from naval officers that sell these boats and we're starting a blog on our website to tell these stories because some of the stories are just amazing uh, of these cadets that, that sell these boats. Originally they were launched without engines so the engines were, were put in later and one of the reasons that they put the engines in because all the cadets used to go off sailing into the deep ocean and, and believe it or not they could never get back into Dartmouth but they could get back into Salkham <laughs> where, where the public yeah. <laughs> because they'd sit there for two or three days waiting for the right, the right weather to get out of the harbour uh, because they had their engine experience and uh, it was easy to get into Sorkin Harbour very difficult to leave and I think the landlord in the local pub there was very pleased for their business <laughs> and this, is, this is Pegasus Pegasus was the first boat that was built um, actually, was the first one to be delivered. Yeah. Um, I think there's a picture somewhere of her being delivered somewhere in the yard here. The boys have got found a picture of her being delivered. Um, and then the one on the right. right. Which one? This is Margaret. So this deck down, we took the deck off because this was the one that was taken on by the sea cadets. Um, and she 
used Copy Vision or Tic Tech, every other one has had a deck replaced with a, a you know, with a Plyce Up and uh, Tic Deck. And we were then just, just trying to get this back to the original Tic Deck, but it's too far gone, so they've put a new epoxy deck back down on, on there. That will sort of be a way okay for the next sort of four or five years, and then they'll find and yeah. replace the deck properly with the Tic Deck. Actually, it's quite nice to have. I, I quite like having to do it down with yeah. the epoxy and, uh, and the non-slip. It's, it's, it's an amazing job. It's yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think it's, it's nice. You get, you get a nice colour and a non-slip and it's absolutely fine. Matching the coach roof, I suppose. Two number ones and 127, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's the colour. Yeah, beautiful. At the moment, you look at it and think, oh my god, how are you going to get these boats ready for the season? But they're all ready to go back together now. Uh, uh, it's, it's Meccano now, isn't it? You're not, you're not talking about redoing any work, are you? It looks it's absolutely just, beautiful. Look at the wood. Just to quickly rub back all that epoxy yeah. that's got on there. Yeah, yeah. But no, the, uh, the it's great when they come together. Oh, you yeah. see, it happens so fast, doesn't yeah, it? Right. You just, you just, then you're ready. You see any progress and suddenly it starts yeah. to happen. Yeah, yeah. 